Man, that was a good game. We head all to the end, but it just wasn't enough. Well, let's see how our squad did. Squad three best squad. Squad three best squad. Never play armor again. Rock five. You guys. Squad three best squad. While some of you may enjoy all that nonsense at the conclusion of a game that many of us have become accustomed to, we're grossly missing out on what could be incredibly helpful time and information. Hey guys, Gore here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about something in squad that's bothered me for ages and a change is a long time coming. The usage of the end game screen, the scoreboard, and the values that are displayed to players on it. Before we get any further, about 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy the content here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're watching this video within a few hours of release, I'm live streaming over on Twitch right now. Come on by for a bit or just to say hello. Now, let's get into things. If you've ever squad led in this game, you've had your fellow squad leads and yourself make decisions throughout the game that hurt the team and maybe even ended with you losing the game entirely. Not all squad leaders know they've made poor choices in retrospect, and oftentimes their mistakes go completely unrecognized. So how can we help SLs identify the areas that they may be lacking or point out what could have been done better in certain situations? In steps our infamous endgame screen. Currently, it's used to check a couple stats, get your eardrums blown out, and then you're on to the next game. Well, instead of that, why not have an endgame screen that's used as a debrief of the past round? Allocate more time, maybe two to three minutes, and only allow squad leaders to talk. This would allow SLs to converse about what choices and actions led to their victory or defeat, while the rest of the team listens. A lot of your experiences in this game, good and bad, are based on the competency of your squad leader, so why not give squad leaders the chance to learn from their mistakes? I know some people may not be all too friendly when pointing out others' errors. But for me, there's been so many occasions where I wish I could say a thing or two to my fellow SLs about how we didn't build backup fobs or attack from a predictable direction so they can understand and learn from these mistakes to hopefully do better in the future. This suggestion and the implementation of is by no means without flaw. I would love to hear from you all, any ideas you might have on how a system like this could be implemented into the game. Moving on, a lot of you may not share the same sentiment as me towards the scoreboard and squad, but I genuinely think a change would be an overall net positive for the game. Currently, the teamwork and objective scores are more often than not ignored, with all the attention going to kills, deaths, incaps, and revives. Squad doesn't have any built-in stat tracking. Yes, some individual servers do, but as a whole, when the game ends, those stats are gone forever. Even with the omission of stat tracking, the recording of some of the more selfish stats do, in my opinion, change the way people play the game. Additionally, the reward for doing certain things is either misrepresented or not represented at all. So what am I suggesting? A few things. For one, give more actions in game a point value. Drive a 30 mil around all game long and your gunner racks up several vehicle kills and a bunch of infantry kills, you should have your efforts rewarded through driver assists or some form of efficiency score. Next, and this is the larger point I'm trying to make, is stop displaying kills and deaths. You win a game in squad by draining the enemy team of tickets through a variety of actions, so why don't we display that value? Tickets taken and tickets lost. Now, instead of the hat kit that went 4 and 8 feeling like he didn't do much, it would show 24 and 8 because he destroyed two labs that game a much better representation of his contributions to the team. This would also hold players accountable for their shortfalls. The tank squad that had 20 kills and 6 deaths would now be displayed as 20 and 36 since they lost 2 tanks that game. Now, rather than that same squad 3 from the start boasting at the end game screen because they got the most amount of kills out of all the squads, they can now see that yes they took 60 tickets away from the enemy, but they also lost 100 in the process. Both of these changes in tandem would give something to squad that we've never had in any shape or form. Accountability. On an individual and team level, players would be able to see and subsequently talk about what they could have done better. To no fault of their own, most new players come into squad and treat it like any other shooter. And hearing other players brag about their KDs at the endgame screen leads to a skewed interpretation of what's important in this game. Getting to listen in during an endgame debrief and hearing squad leaders talk about where things went wrong would help many of these newer players understand and hopefully adapt to the different style of play we have here in squad, and seeing a more representative stats of players' contributions to the team would give them a better grasp on the importance of a wider variety of actions performed in game. 
Anyways, that is all I have for you today. A short and sweet video to get some things out there in the world to get more people talking about how this game could be better. If you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe for more Future Squad content. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'm out.